Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So, the much anticipated return of Sergei Kovalev is looking to be more of a possibility. According to various reports, Sergei Kovalev and Fan Long Meng are in talks for a March 12th fight on Triller, and according to these reports, the fight will take place at a catch weight of 185 pounds. So essentially, it's a cruiserweight bout. And yeah, Triller are looking to be the likely broadcaster. Is it a good idea to have Sergei Kovalev fight on Triller? I mean, we know how their shows go down. It's essentially, when it comes to Triller shows, it's essentially a showcase of degeneracy. I mean, even the commentators, drugged up, pissed up, etc, etc. Is it really, um, is it right to have Sergei Kovalev in those environments? Who knows? But, um, I'm playing. You know, Sergei Kovalev last fought in November 2019, so he's been out of the ring for over two years at this point in time, and he's in his late 30s now, so quite frankly, at this stage of Sergei Kovalev's career, I don't really expect too much from him, if I'm being honest. I mean, given the inactivity, the fact that he's in his late 30s, I don't really expect too much from Sergei Kovalev at this point in time. And, you know, I see Sergei Kovalev as one of those guys who would go down as a wasted talent. I know he's achieved a lot in boxing. He's a former unified light heavyweight champion. I believe he's a three-time light heavyweight champion. So he has achieved a lot in boxing. But for me, considering his skill set, his talent, his power, I kind of believe that he should have achieved more in the sport of boxing. Obviously, we've heard the rumours that, you know, Kovalev outside the ring hasn't always lived the life, etc, etc. And not only that, of course, the first Andre Ward fight, I felt he really got the rough end of a stick in that fight. I felt he won that fight pretty clearly, pretty obviously, but he never got that win. And quite frankly, ever since then, He's not really been the same fighter. He's had success since then, but I always felt that that fight took something out of Sergei Kovalev. Not physically, more so mentally. I think it really killed his drive and desire to be a great fighter, or it, it took something out of him in that sense, in my opinion. And you know, I, I was somebody who followed Sergei Kovalev since before he beat Nathan Cleverly for his first world title. And right back from when I was watching him fight Lionel Thompson, I always had really high hopes for Sergei Kovalev. And again, don't get me wrong, he achieved a lot in boxing, multi-time world champion, former unified champion at 175. But his career never really panned out the way I expected it to, certainly in recent years. And for me personally, the fight with Canelo Alvarez really left a bad taste in my mouth. I lost a lot of respect for Sergei Kovalev, if I'm being honest. I felt he sold out in that fight, quite frankly. So, going forwards, I mean, I don't really expect too much from him. Uh, his opponent, Fan Long Meng, is decent, but he's nothing special. He's a master record of 17 and 0. His best wins to date are Frank Bullioni and Adam Dinez. So I would describe Fan Long Meng as a decent fringe contender at light heavyweight. He was also a pretty good amateur. He's six foot three. He's quite big for the weight class. Southpaw. He, he's a decent fighter, but nothing special. Quite frankly, I wouldn't see a prime Sergei Kovalev having any issues with Fan Long Meng whatsoever. I think he would go through Fan Long Meng like a doorway, knock him out in three or four rounds, something along those lines. But at this stage, with Kovalev being late 30s, you know, not fought in a long while, fighting at 185, I mean, it's hard to know really what to expect from Sergei Kovalev at this point in time. I would still imagine he wins this fight. If Kovalev has like 60% of what he once had, he should still win, but this could be a competitive fight. And for what it is, it is a fun fight, quite frankly. Um, so yeah, I mean, listen, I was always a big 
a, a big fan of Sergei Kovalev on the come up. I enjoyed his first title reign. Uh, but again, ever since that Andre Ward fight, to me, he's never really been the same fighter. He never really truly recovered from that. And when it comes to the Canelo Alvarez fight, you know, watching that fight back, Kovalev to me was fighting in fourth gear. He was just flicking a non uh, a non committal jab, and he was winning rounds against Canelo Alvarez. But he never forced the issue. It appeared like he was just there to make up the numbers, quite frankly. So, you know, at this point in time, I've got to be honest. I do question Sergey Kovalev's character. I do question his desire in the fight game. And regardless of that, he's certainly not the fighter he was a few years ago. So, you know, it's hard to know what to expect from Sergei Kovalev against Fan Long Meng. You know, Fan Long Meng himself has been waiting for a big fight for a long time. Uh, he's the younger man, he's 33, whereas Kovalev's late 30s. I'm sure Fan Long Meng is going to go into this fight with a lot of desire, a lot of ambition. And if Fan Long Meng were to beat Sergei Kovalev, he could potentially get a big fight at light heavyweight. Fan Long Meng, of course, was actually the IBF mandatory for Arta Baturbiev for a little while, and that fight was supposed to happen, but originally Baturbiev didn't want to go to China due to political reasons, and then I believe Fan Long Meng got injured, so Adam Dines was then named the mandatory. So, you know, Fan Long Meng's been waiting for a big opportunity for a long time. I'm sure he's going to go into this fight with a lot of ambition. And against a guy like Kovalev, who was once a great fighter, but not anymore, it could make for a good fight. So, listen, you know, I, I feel a certain way now about Kovalev, but I am interested in this fight. I'll be intrigued to see how he looks in this bout. Anyway, share your thoughts below. It's been your guy, Delboy. Peace.